I'll put timestamps of my matches in the description, so if you just want to see those ones, you can click on those. Alright guys, on the way to Picton, we've been driving for, what, about an hour, hour and a half? Yeah, about, about that. that. It is super hot today, it feels like a sauna in here, it's kind of insane, so there's no way I don't make weight, I've been sweating it all off. So, my weight class is 180, like I've said, 180 and under, and then my kids' class is just open. So, it's going to be, it's going to be hard, it's going to be very, very hard, I've talked to even more people, and this is going to be... I think, personally, the biggest tournament I've ever gone to. It it sounds like it's going to be packed in there, and the venue is perfect. The venue is off of this farm, this huge warehouse. It's going to be so cool. Everything about it is is very awesome. I'm I'm super, super hyped, and I can't wait. I'll, I'll show you guys my way in next, and hopefully I'll make weight. Here we are. It's Chrissy's place. Look at this place. Look at this place. Farm arm wrestling. Yeah. Center of excellence right here. Uh -huh. This place is so cool. Yeah. What an awesome place to trade. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow is uh, pancakes and sauce. And oh! Cars. And then there'll be hot dogs in here. Amazing, so amazing. Cool. Which one do you recommend? Which one makes you lighter, you think? Uh, I, think is lighter. I think they're left is lighter. Left is lighter? Well, let's see. Let's That's see. Secret, though. Oh, you don't have to step on and out of these ones. Oh, oh easy there. day, easy, no easy day. No we could have, we could have had pizza before we showed up. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Didn't even use a clothing on. Yeah. <laughs> lots of space. Lots of space. <laughs> Perfect. Weight has been officially made. I weighed in at 176. Was that what it was? Yes. Yeah. Something. About 176, I think. So I was way under, no problem. Uh, now, now it's time to bulk back up. Bulking. Oh yeah. All right, we just got our pizza from Prince Edward Pizzeria. It's the best pizza I think, actually, in the whole world. Yeah, uh, I gotta agree. It's very, very good. Very tasty indeed. We got. Look at all this pizza. Mmm. I'm gonna be. Way over 180 by the time I actually oh, have to compete. So Way over. All right, guys. So it's the 15th, the day of the tournament. Uh, it's about 11:51. I think that kids' class starts is at 1:30. I think it's supposed to start at 1:30. Okay, so we got about an hour and a half before my classes start. So I'm very excited. It should be good. I, I slept really well last night. I got to bed really early and I just slept straight through. I feel good. I feel really, really good. I feel very energized. I'm a little bit nervous, but it's not, it's not not manageable. So yeah, should be good guys, should be good. Check this place out guys, man. Ooh. Yeah. Rules meeting, um, just finishing up. We have Here we go. This class was 151 plus for kids, which meant if you were 18 or younger, you would be entered in this class if you weighed over 151. Now, this led to an enormous class for the kids, and it was a, such a cool day. Going into this tournament, I knew there would be a couple people there. I knew that there was going to be Alexander, who is right now one of, if not the best, arm wrestler that is under 180, kids and not kids. So I knew he was going to be a very big challenge for me. There was also Nathan, also known as Baby Bear, who is just a huge guy. He was 258 weighing in, so I knew he was going to be incredibly strong as well. So those are the two main guys I was really watching out for. We started off in the left arm. Now, in case you guys don't know, my left arm isn't anything exceptional. It's much worse than my right due to recently having surgery and a bunch of different things. But I was excited to start left, and I gave it my all, like you can see in this match. Dirty, dirty, and pretty. 
Now it was time for my first really big challenge on the left. I was up against Baby Bear, a guy who is way bigger than me, so I knew this was going to be super hard. Now going into this, I knew that my left, it was going to be hard. It was going to be so hard to get this win because watching him arm wrestle, you can see, you can tell he's a very smart arm wrestler. He's very fast, he's very strong. Everything he does is very, very good. So going into this, I knew I had to be quick. And that was going to be the only way I was going to get the win. Unfortunately for me, Nathan was just way too strong in his left. Good job, Nathan.
go. Now it was time to pull Oakley Armstrong, who had previously beaten me last time we pulled left. We pulled Provincials, I got him the first time, but he managed to come up back to the B-side and beat me. So I knew this match was going to be very difficult because his left is very strong. So I, I tried to beat him as much as I could in the setup, and you'll see what happens. I'm good, he's got him down. He's got him down. Doing good. Yeah, buddy. Now I was automatically third place at worst. And Baby Bear had previously lost to Alex, so he was on the B side. This put us together for left hand semifinal. After the first match, I didn't have very much hope because I felt not even a single lane for my left. So going into this match, I was a little bit worried, but I tried to still fight and take everything I could, and you'll see what happens. Bring it around, bring it around. Come on, Baby Bear, go on it. Ready, go! On the left hand finals, we have Alexander on one side and Baby Bear on the other. These competitors are both incredibly strong, so see what happens. All right, so now we're moving on to the right-handed bracket. My right arm is significantly better, so I hoped that I'd maybe stand more of a chance against the top guys like Baby Bear and Alex. So you guys can see how I do. Table one, please. 
Aslan versus Nathan Beaufort, 2-1. On deck, Zana Buchanan, table two. Now it is the moment of truth, what I've been waiting for the entire tournament and what I've been prepping for for a couple weeks now. Me versus Alex, right-handed. I was hyped for this match. I saw his videos and I knew he was going to be super strong, but I wanted to try to beat him. I thought maybe there was a shot and I was feeling around. I thought maybe there was a shot and I was doing everything I could and you'll see how it goes. Table one, and he lands and ties. And he was just too strong for me. Hey, hats off to Alexander. He is number one for a reason. That is a strong, strong guy. Alex, if you... We got an elbow foul on you for him. Nice win. He was tough. Come on, watch this. Watch this. So now Alex and Baby Bear meet back up on the right hand. And now right hand's always different than left hand. Left hand, Alexander looked so incredible. It was unbelievable. Nobody even slowed him down for a second. So I wanted to see how the right hand would go. Because maybe it would be different. Maybe it wouldn't. We'll see. Alex, once again, was just too strong and won in a very dominant fashion. Right. 
So now, meeting up again on the right hand, it was me versus Nathan, her baby bear. Now, my right hand's a lot better, so I felt in the setup, it was a lot different than my left hand. My left hand, I felt nothing. Not, not high, not low, not press, not flop, not king's move, not a single lane. But my right, my right felt good. My right felt different. So he still felt super strong, but I had much more of a chance in this one than in my left. What did Jody say? Elbows down, elbows down. That's what they said. Come on, Dave. So after that big win, it was time for the first place match. It was me and Alexander again. Last time I tried to top roll him, I tried to kind of high hook and take the height, and his hand felt so dominant. So this time, I decided the only thing that I had left was to try to press him and just fully commit inside. I've uh, just been talking about this match all day long. Alex said he wasn't worried. We're going to settle it here in three seconds. I have a feel we're going to see this match a lot throughout the years. We're going to a rest trip. They couldn't figure out the cells. So they're going to leave it to these lads to hook them up. Who wants Alex to win? Neither I or Baby Bear was able to beat Alex even one time on either arm, so Alex by far took the first place trophy and was definitely the best kid there that day. All together guys, all together, nice job guys, nice job. Incredible. So I ended up taking home the third place on left and the second place on right for the kids division. Me and Baby Bear actually ended up winning the match of the night because nobody expected me to win it. He was, um, he weighed in at 258, and I was only 176, so he had me by over 80 pounds, so I was the huge underdog, and the fact that I won it, they just, they gave us matches of the night, which is, which is a lot of fun, so what a great tournament. It was so cool. I'm going to be posting the adults class that I also competed in tomorrow. That'll be probably out around mid-afternoon-ish, maybe like three, four, somewhere around then, but make sure to check that out, guys, and Everybody who was there and, and helped run the place and competed and spectated, man, thank you so much. What a great day.